In this video, I'll show you how to change the filters and membrane in a Cottage Water 75 reverse osmosis drinking water system so that you can continue to have super pure drinking water at your home, cottage, or cabin for your family. By the end of this video, you'll know what tools and filters you need, when and how to change the filters, and the membrane in your Cottage Water 75 high efficiency reverse osmosis drinking water system. Also, I definitely suggest that you watch this video right to the end to make sure that you're maintaining it correctly. These four cartridges should be replaced every six to 12 months, depending on if you have pre-filtration on your whole home, cottage, or cabin, and how bad your water is. If your water contains a high amount of sediment, it may be necessary to change the first stage sediment cartridge more frequently. You'll know when it needs to be changed because your tank will stop filling and no water will come out of the faucet. You'll need a filter housing wrench, which typically comes with the system, a small bucket, a TDS meter, clean cloths, sponge, bleach, and dishwashing detergent. Before we get started on that, if you're not entirely sure how a reverse osmosis system works, we have a really great video that you should watch. I'll put the link in the description below. Test the TDS of unfiltered and filtered water with a TDS meter. If the TDS of the filtered water is greater than 10% of the unfiltered water, you'll need to replace the membrane at this time. In preparation, I suggest you wash your hands with soapy water, place down a clean towel in which to work, you're going to want to turn off the incoming water supply and shut off the valve on the storage tank. Place a bucket under the system to catch any water that spills during the removal of the filter housings. Open the reverse osmosis faucet to release the pressure. You're going to want to unscrew the bottom of the filter housings from the caps. I've already loosened these ones with my wrench, so it's easy for me to access here in the studio. I like to replace these one at a time to minimize the chance of mixing up the filters. Discard the used cartridges. Make sure to check there are no O-rings left inside or at the bottom of the housings. You want to rinse out the housings and fill each with one third full of water. Add two tablespoons of bleach and scrub with non-abrasive brush or sponge. Rinse thoroughly. Next, you're going to want to lubricate each O-ring with the coating of clear silicone grease like I have here. Insert the replacement filter cartridge into the bottom of the housings and make sure the cartridge slips over the sandpipe in the bottom of the housing. Next, you're gonna screw the bottoms of the housing back onto the cap securely, hand tighten them, and then additionally tighten them with the wrench that you have on hand. Now I'm gonna remove the tannin filter from the setup. Here's the tannin filter. It'd be the same process as before where you replace the filter while rinsing out and cleaning this housing. Next, we're gonna remove the third stage post filter from the bracket and remove the tubes from the fittings by pressing into the collar around the fitting while pulling the tubing out with your other hand. We've got a great YouTube video that shows you how to use these fittings. I'll put the link in the description below. Here's an example of the type of connections that we use. If you press on this collar, it releases the tube from the inside. So you're able to pull it out. One thing to make sure to pay attention to is that when you remove this filter, sometimes these pieces do get stuck. So make sure that there is no um, rubber pieces at the bottom of this unit. Once you've cleaned up the housing, like you have with the other housings, reinsert your new carbon filter and hand tighten this back onto the unit. You will wanna make sure that all of these are hand tight but then ultimately you'll want to do your wrench or use your wrench to tighten them further. Are you looking for the correct replacement filters and membrane for your Cottage Water 75? Go to our websites, watereastore.com in the US and watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Now I'm gonna show you how to replace the membrane if you need to. I've already loosened mine from the C-clips to make it a little more accessible, but it just pulls off like that. It's the same type of connector where you push in on the collar and then it releases the tubing. There's one tube on this side and then there's two additional tubes on the other side. Connect the new high efficiency membrane to the tubing by pushing in the tubing until it stops. Turn on the cold water supply, check for leaks while flushing at least three tankfuls of water from the RO. Continue to check periodically to make sure no leaks develop. Click here for your next video on reverse osmosis drinking water systems and we'll see you there.